Pocky's holy grail has been used to feed horses, baptize children, and plant flowers. Of all the major trophies in American sports, no prize has a more bizarre legacy than the Stanley Cup. Every year, the champions receive the honor of holding onto the cup for 100 days during the offseason. For some, this simply means bringing the cup back to their hometown for picks with friends and family. For others, it can even be religious. In 2017, Penn swinger Josh Archibald had his three-week-old son, Brayden, baptized in Lord Stanley's hardware. That same year, Nick Benino channeled his ancestors by eating spaghetti out of the cup. Back in 94, the Rangers claimed their first title in over 50 years. To celebrate, Eddie Olchick took the cup to the stables to feed the derby-winning horse. Perhaps the craziest story traces all the way back to 1903. The cup was just 10 years old when Ottawa won it all and decided to commemorate the victory with a photo shoot. Upon leaving, they discovered the trophy was missing. They reached out to the photographer, who hadn't seen it either. After asking his cleaning lady, the photographer discovered she took the cup home, washed it out, and began using it to plant flowers. 